Hello and welcome my friend and then I am planning to show you uh, this Toyota cars 40 and engine code what number is P1656 and what's what's that error and faulty code means it means now that I have this VVTI engine error and issue. And let's look at what that means. And first I start this my car. There's my key. And then we can check that what this is. And what, uh, that how we can notice that. Okay, and now when my engine is running, all warning lights are away but only one this this code engine faulty code is on and what that means now that means that my VVTI system is is uh, broken and there is some issue and now I have this my faulty code scanner and let's scan that again and how it happens first I press that ESC and then we go in this diagnostic menu and then I choose that enter read codes and now this my okay and what and there is then st stored codes and enter now it's reading now it's reading the data and it says that now there is this one issue, same issue. Okay, and then I do so that I like to reset those. And in here, and iris codes. And in arrows in here. Now we add this iris code and then enter. Are you sure? Yes. And iris done. And then right away, when I made that look it's like came back and I will do that again that we can see that now it went away and now it's back okay and that means that now this issue is always on and and this issue is maybe quite easy to repair because I have three of those VVTI systems those controls and the biggest one is this valve control and let's go to look that and then of course what what that means if i have this issue that can i drive that my car it is this my car works almost like a normal car but only this there is this maybe engine is a little bit slower to work but this engine is almost normal now i drive this my car a little bit in back and then I am driving in front and this car works almost like normal but there is some issue and that's let's go to look my engine next that what we can do in there okay and now we are in this engine area and first step is to take that plastic cover Cover in here away, and for that job, I need 10 millimeter socket and wrench. And now I have made to I have made in here this my wrench, and in that position, that position, I open. There's one bolt and second in here. And, and now it's loosened and I rotate and here we can see that there is small bolt in here it looks like that this small bolt and there is two similar of these one of here and one of here okay, cool. and then I can lift that my plastic cover away And then we look in here 
and we can see in that area in here that there is this our VVTI sensor and now I believe that this is broken and I need I have to remove it and then when I look okay now I noticed that why it's broken this part is it it cut there is actually happened uh, this electric connector filure and now I, I can press that this connector because this connector belongs in here in in that position and now when I look that it is like cut and broken in here and that's I take first that connector away in that one and this is now the issue why this my VBTI is is broken and there are two cables and if we are really repairman we can fix that but now I think that I, I am planning to replace totally new sensor. But let's let's to take that sensor next away and there is situation that there is one bolt in there very hidden and and that's we can go to look that but before of that I saw that we need now very specific and thin look this much socket is very small it is 10 millimeter and it fits just in that way look in that way in this whole ho bolt in that way. look now it's in position and this area is so small that if we have bigger socket like in the normal sides what is this is normal size there is issue that I have difficulties to install that socket because there is mo so small amount but I think that we can in some somehow we can manage to install but I use in that way this small socket what fits in there and then we can actually go to look that what is this very difficult position when we look in that position in here, we can see that this bolt is just just in here, like a little bit hidden. But now when I take that my tool, it goes directly in that position in this socket. Look, very nicely. And, and then, sorry, and then when I, when I take my frames, I can start to open that. And let's look. There's my rest. And now I am using the standard wrench, but then I have in here these connectors, these joints. Look, they are like small parts. That first I need this modifier, what makes this my wrench little bit smaller, and then I have second, even smaller, this more joint in here and now I have like two joints and this part fits in this small small this this socket and this bar what is in her position and now when I install that in here then this opening direction is this way in that rotation this way now it opens and then I then I only then I only I rotate that so long that this bolt opens. And let's go to look a little bit closer what I am doing. Now I rotate that. Okay, and now this bolt is free and then I take that away and now it's in my hand excellent and then next step is to take only contact in this our sensor and little bit move that because it can be tight and, and there is this sensor okay and then when we look at what is issue there is really in here we can see that there is crap that is my connector it has been broken in here Let's go to look that closer. 
Okay, and here, here is this my VVTi valve sensor, and this part is like cut in that in this position in here. And if I I like to, if I would like to be like very handyman, like this Iron Man who makes this Iron Man movie, or this great movie. I will, I and I, I might good to fix that, because there is only two connectors. But now, because I have new part, what is ready, and fine. Now I don't like to fix that, and I go to inst, I, I go to install this part, and then remember to clean these parts, and please check that you have oil gasket in here. And then we go to install that part in my car. Okay, and then I am planning to install this my bar, and we can see that, uh, sorry, this valve sensor, and we can see that there is this hole in here, and then I only insert that my part in here, and please, please be sure that there is no any dirties. Okay, now there is something. I think that there was something scrap, and that's we have to pick this clean cotton cloth, and we have to take all small particles away because this this sensor is so sensitive. Okay, and now I believe that this is clean, good, and then I install that in this. Position, and then I have to do situation that I need to rotate that my part in that specific position. There's only one one specific position, and then when I go to look in that area, I have to need I have to see that bolt hole. Okay, now it's fine. Let's go to look that closer because it is a trick. And there is the plenty look. And we look in that area. We can see when I little bit move, there is this bolt hole in here. Now it's this bolt hole is in location. And then I install in that hole this my bolt next. Okay, now I install this my bolt. And there is this my bolt in my hand, and that's I I install this my bolt in carefully in this way in here. And big, this is quite difficult job, and this bolt can drop to ground. But when we uh, when we do this carefully and slowly, this is not so difficult. Now I rotate. Is my bolt in this position? Okay, now it's fine. And then I take my wrench. And I do this final tightening. And this moment is about ten kilonewtons. Ten kilonewtons. And now, next part is to install this electric connector back, good. And then I believe that when we go to start this my engine, then this issue is away because this was so easy to understand when there is connector was totally cut. Okay, that kind of information and thank you for watching that video.